I like when your hands are relaxed. It's so soft. Because we eat the deli at 3 o'clock. It's so good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. this is how Daniel feels about the mall. Daddy's coming to meet us. It's that time of year again when you're driving in your car and all you hear are Christmas songs. Oh, I love it. And every night when you go out, you see more and more lights. I'm trying to uh, get myself out of my Monday funk. I wasn't feeling well this morning at all. Ugh. Anyhow, I'm going to drop off the baritone sax for Thomas. He's got an audition at the high school today for the high school jazz band. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how many jazz bands we're going to be in this fall. I mean this winter. Whatever. I am going to get me some Dunkin' Donuts. I am dying for coffee. It's so nice out today. It's like, what is it, 60 degrees? Like, what is that? Anyhow, I'm starving. I didn't eat any breakfast because I felt sick at home. Now I'm out and about. Fresh air is kind of cheering me up a little bit. Um, I have an hour until I have to get Thomas and bring him over to the high school. So I'm gonna grab me some coffee and I don't know, maybe Maybe take my friend here um, who's sitting on my leg, take him to the dog park and let him run it out a little bit. Hmm, probably be muddy there, but uh, yeah, I don't know. You know what, it's gonna be muddy there. Look at the dog park. We're the only ones here. It's kind of a funny time. It's like one o'clock, but 1.30, something like that. Just letting him get some exercise. I knew it would be a muddy place, but what are you doing, Henry? You need to go poopies? Go potties. Henry. Hi. You having fun? Oh, please. So Thomas just had an audition <laughs> for the high school it, jazz band. Uh, uh. he, remember, he's in middle school. But, oh, how do you feel it went? Look well. Yeah, so now what are we doing? We're going to the deli? We're going to the deli. We're going to our deli at 3 o'clock to get food, go home and take a nap. This is why I never make dinner, because we eat in the middle of the in-between dinner time. And then Dad comes home and says, what's for dinner? And I say, nothing. And then he's like, uh, and he makes a gross shake. And he's a lot skinnier than we are, because we're fatter, because we eat the deli at 3 o'clock. It's so good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Press one. Mm -hmm. Calling pulmonary. I have to schedule Daniel's pulmonary appointment and his Botox. Um, <clears throat> hi, this is Julie Hasselberger calling, and Daniel missed an appointment. Ap um, yeah, I guess so. Okay, thank you. Bye. This is a vlog worthy, 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 worthy. Again, didn't I? This is a blog worthy moment. How much oil did you put in? Third of a cup. How much water? Fourth of a cup. How many eggs? One. Did you put the Hershey's fudge in? Do I need to? Yes. I took some frozen ones. No. Nope. And that mixes in the batter. Do we have two? Did we had two different kinds. Yeah, I guess we did. Uh, Thomas is making brownies. Do you know what you're doing? Did you preheat the oven? It's been preheated. Did you wash your hands? 
You wash your butt? <laughs> yeah, I did. I took a shower today. Did you wash your hands? Did you wash your face? Yes, I did. <laughs> I took a shower today. Did you wash your hands? Did you wash your cow? I don't have a cow. You want a cow? I'm going to have a cow. I am a fish. Touche. Did you get all the eggshells out? Yeah, no eggshells in this. <laughs> Did you spray stuff on the pan? You need to spray stuff on the pan. Ah, oh, you skipped a step. Okay. Your butt is dad's. No, your step. Beluga horn. It's a step. I don't know what a beluga horn is. You're so a beluga horn. I don't know what that means. Your dad is my grandfather. Do you know who that? Yeah, well. I like pumpkin pie, so. Well, you know what, Odell Beckham? Well. So deal with it. You know what, Kim Kardashian? So face that one. You know what? But she's not as cool as Odell. Sorry. You know what? Pickles are Sorry. Better. Pickles are better than olive, olives. You know what? An olive is a thumbnail. You know what? Your chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> deal with it. No, you deal with it. Do you want the spoon or the thingy? No, you deal with it. Ham hawk. You're a hawking. You're Stephen Hawking. No, sir. No, you're Stephen Hawking. Not squag. squag. If you don't do your three men and a baby, or what's the name of the show? <laughs> Two and a half men. <laughs> <laughs> three men and a baby. That was a movie, like from the eighties or something. Oh my God, you're cold. <laughs> I grew up in the 80s. Why does that make me old? Because you grew up in the 80s. Yeah, but see, that makes me cool in like, no. I, in like so many ways that you just will never know until you're old enough Dave, to understand. Dave, she thought the name of two and a half men was three <laughs> men and a baby. Just a little <laughs> mental what? slip. Three men and a baby. Don't make fun of me. No! I have a lot of pressure in my brain and stress makes me... Your butt has a face. I skip decades sometimes, that's all. Yeah, but has a face. <laughs> 4.25. Alright guys, got him back to sleep. Oh, I'm so tired. Alright, so I'm three hours later. Here I am I'm in my kitchen, making coffee. Um, John already put the cream in my cup. He had it already. So, yeah, I uh, was supposed to go to work today, um, but I can't because I don't have someone for Daniel. Um, it happens, like, it doesn't even really bother me anymore. <laughs> like, when my schedule gets upset because I know things happen to me, so things happen to everybody. But it's just um, a major shuffle in the schedule and a major dent in my financial pocketbook. But there is no price on spending a day with Daniel. That is the best thing that I could be doing right now. Um, so when he wakes up, I don't know. Oh, his standard's getting repaired today. That's right. So we have some repairmen coming to fix some little parts on his standard. And then, um, yeah. I need major coffee. Um, I don't know why he was up last night. And I know that at four he needed a major diaper change, so I would be awake too. But um, yeah, I just need a little more sleep than three hours. But got a deal. Guess what, Daniel? It's Tuesday. Judy couldn't come today. You want to spend the whole day with mom? Huh? Want to have a mommy day? Go on some adventures? Huh? Yeah? Adventures like delivering Thomas' berry. And uh, maybe we'll go maybe to the mall. To the you want to spend the day with mommy? Hmm? Yeah. 
What are you looking at? A broken light bulb. He's so intuitive to everything. He has a broken light bulb, so he stares up there because it doesn't work. Like, see, that one works. I got it. Right? All right, let's get all your stuff done. Get your meds. ATG or whatever they're called now. New Motion. They're called New Motion. They're coming to fix your stander. Whoops. Ow. She loves you, too. You need your puppy dog. Okay. You okay? Serious face. Serious face, Daniel. Don't pull on your Mickey button. Dave just changed this. Let's go with this. We're going to go bye-bye in a little while. we got to bring Thomas's um, baritone. Okay? He's fixing your stander right now, okay? Come on. You good boy? I know, I keep forgetting, like, which knob is what in with this thing. <laughs> I'm kind of learning with it, too, to be honest with you. Oh, there it is. Um. And the standard's all fixed. We needed some new knobs and doohickeys and doodads, but it's all done. So, that's awesome. It's very cold outside. I have to crank the heat up today. Because, you know, you think I would go down and get some firewood, but maybe I will later, but I'm so freaking lazy. It's like so much work. You gotta push the wheelbarrow all the way down the back, fill it up, bring it back. It's like, it's like being on the little house in the prairie. Boy, come on, I'll lift you up. Come here. The woes of being a little dog. Okay, here's your dog. Okay. Enough, enough, enough kisses. I know you love Daniel. Give him kisses on his hands. We cover a mouth. No mouth. He doesn't like that, Henry. Come on. Enough. Henry. Henry loves He loves you. That's why he does this. He loves, but I know you don't like it. Push him back with your hand. There you go. Just tell him no. No. You need to be a good boy. Leave it. Okay. Come on. We're going to go bye bye. You were just very fussy. Now he seems to be calming down. I got him in the chair. Now we're going to go bye bye. Okay. You all settled in? I'm going to go warm up the car first, though, okay? I have to put the baritone. That's when I would say Barry Sachs. The reason I have to bring it to the school is because it's huge, and it's very, very heavy, so he can't bring it on the bus, um, and he brings it home to practice. All right, so we're going to go in now. Um, Daniel loves them all, so it's all for you, Daniel. This is how Daniel feels about them all. Daddy's coming to meet us. You ready to walk? Okay, let's walk. He loves it. Here we go. Here we go. Walking in the mall with my Daniel. Mommy Daniel day. Mommy Daniel day. It's a mommy Daniel day. It's a mommy Daniel day. Ho, 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 ho. It's a mommy Daniel day. Wow, HGTV. Look how pretty. Oh, you outside the snow is only and friends are call you. Come on, it's lovely. Bum, 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 bum. What do you see? Huh? What do you see? How nice does that look to you? So the minute I got in the mall, really nice man came up to me and asked me if Daniel was my son and he said I have a son just like him and he proceeded to tell me this beautiful story that his son was very similar to Daniel and um, he was from India and his name was George 
Um, his son wasn't with him, but he said he was 18 and how hard it is for him and how they've been trying to get on the waiver, which is a Title 19, but they don't have insurance to cover most things. Um, we just really connected and uh, it's just really kind of surreal. I don't know what happened there. He just, the minute I walked in, he just sort of walked right up to me. Anyway, it was a very endearing moment. Yeah, we're just walking, waiting for John to meet us here. Doing, bud? So we're at Chipotle. I hope you don't mind. I know you can't eat this stuff. A little, a little break from our mall walk to have lunch with daddy. Right? We're gonna eat some burritos. Sarah, I'm thinking of you. I always do when I come here. John's getting my soda. Okay, we're gonna go eat our lunch now. We love Chipotle. I like when your hands are relaxed. It's so soft. The only thing is this little thumb needs to come up. What are you trying to do with your hand? What? For what? Not yet. Did you one point? Yes, twice. Get it one. Okay, so this is totally vlog worthy. Um, I came over to the Christmas tree shop to um, go in for a couple minutes and I can't find a place to park because I have a lift. I need a handicapped spot that has, you know, the lines next to it. So I appropriately put my blinker on and I was waiting for a spot over here, right there, that white car, no handicap pass. He scoots in there right in front of me and jumps out. I'm like, he's like a young guy. And he looked at me like he was saying, F you, lady. <laughs> what I should do is take the license plate down and like report it, but you know what? I, I don't have time for that. It was just rude and mean. So if I don't find a place to park now, then um, we're not gonna be able to go to the store. There's just nowhere to park. It's really frustrating. There's not, I need a place to let the lift down and um, park. That was so rude. That white car, that was so rude. He just zipped right in there in front of me. All right, we're not going to the store. Julie can't go to the Christmas tree shop again because people are assholes. Sorry, they are. Don't park in handicapped spots when you don't have a pass. Jesus Louises. It's not fair. Oh, ponytail is bothering me. It's really upsetting. You know, I, I just wanted to take Daniel through so we could look at some little Christmas things. You, know, but you think you have problems parking your normal cars. You try trying to park a big van that has a lift on the side. There's only so many spots. At the Danbury Mall, there are two covered spots for vans, two, out of the whole entire mall. So I can't fit in garages because I have one of these oversized vans, you know, like the ceiling is big. So I have to park outside. So much for that. There will be no Christmas tree shop haul today. No, no Christmas tree shop haul for Julie. She's just I gotta get Thomas at like in like an hour and a half. So now what am I gonna do? I don't know. I'll go to CVS, I guess. Pick up Daniel's meds. What else do I do? CVS. I should have a great idea, Daniel. You wanna go to Target? I gotta get a water filter anyway for my water filter bottle thing. And um, Target has like... So Daniel, you want me to tell everybody about your little penguin and snowman? Whoops. Well, when we went to Target, it was, you know, just something special we found. 
It's really awesome. This is a little penguin and he was staring at it on the shelf. Um, they were buy two, get one free. Um, but I got a penguin and a snowman and some lights, which I don't know where they are. I think they fell out of the bag in the van. Um, but this is the penguin and it has a USB port plug-in. So you can um, plug it into you know, computer or whatever. And I just have it plugged into an iPhone app uh, adapter into a cord. And it's so cute. It's just, you know, little LED lights. But Daniel loves these. They're very calming and soothing and they look really pretty at night. But this is really, like, it's got, like, nice fabric. And he's so cute. He's not cheap looking. He's just cute little eyes. And, um, yeah, they were... How much were they? $6.99? So, cute. So I'm going to put them on Daniel's shelf. But I like they could go anywhere. Even in a car. So, let's see the snowman. And then this is going to be the end of my vlog for Tuesday. Because I am getting so tired. Here's the little snowman. Look how cute he is. He's got a pom-pom for his hat. So those guys are at Target. You know? We picked up a cute little thing. Even though we never made it to the Christmas tree shop, we, we found these guys, so. Yeah. Good find. Daniel loves them. Right? You love your little guys? He's having his breathing treatment. You love your little guys? Huh? You love the little penguin guy? He's on your bed. All right. I should get you a sweater. Dress you up. You wanna dress you up like Santa Claus? Do you? Henry? You hungry? Want a cookie? Want a cookie? Want a cookie? Want your dinner? You hungry? You have to go potty? Wanna go potty? Come on. What do you want? You're so cute. You're so cute. You are. There he is. Oh, Daniel's pillow. Our new friend. Good night, everybody. <laughs>